So we have a interesting controversial topic to talk about today regarding chapter five, season three. And I don't even know where to start, to be completely honest. It's it's an interesting season, I would say by far. Um where to start? I guess for those that maybe want to grind it out, maybe you want to get the rewards for it, is it worth going all the way to level 200 this season? Um, I'm going to say yes and no. Like It just depends on how much you enjoy the gameplay aspect of the game itself. If you're going to be doing the same thing you done last season, going into maybe like, maybe maybe you play Fortnite Festival every day or creative or whatever mode it may be battle royale is mainly the topic of the discussion for this season and both competitive and public matches um it, it's a lot it's a lot that's going on with that but worth grinding up or worth grinding out is literally completely up to you whether you want to sit there and you know go through it you pretty much have to ad- adapt to what's going on or else you're not going to like what you see from this season with the main thing being vehicles pretty much so it's all these vehicles around the map that you can pretty much get it having maybe 2000 health or 1700 health or 1600 health how much ever health it has it's a lot it's a lot more than what it used to be any of the seasons which could get patched it could get nerfed I don't know. Maybe it could. Maybe it couldn't. I don't know. Um, for sure, something is going to happen with, within when whenever the update drops. Um, something's going to get nerfed with the vehicles. Maybe the um, the little fists, uh, mythic and the epic versions of them too. Um, that's something that's interesting about the season as well. But yeah, the main topic of discussion is the vehicles. Um, you can have turrets on them. You can um, have bulletproof tires on them. You can have the cow catchers on them, which uh, kind of puts a little armor onto your vehicle, whichever vehicle it is. You can pretty much put it on anything that you can drive, except for a dirt bike, and just run around the map with it. Uh, they got these little rings around the map that you can get boost from to go all the way across the map, and you can gain a, you know you know you can gain speed from it. And all this other different, you know, kinds of stuff. And it's not going to be only you driving these vehicles. There's going to be players all around the map, especially towards the end of the game, because that's what a lot of them are going to do towards the end is put a turret on the vehicle. And as soon as they get a little close to you to a point where they can just aim at you, they're going to switch to the turret on the right side. You have to get on the passenger side and... Pretty much, you can shoot them and get, you know, the amount of damage you need off or whatever um, to kill them. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the season is based around the cars. And if you don't like it, I mean, it's either adapt to it or, you know, not play it at all. It's something I've seen my first few games before. What you what you see it now is the gameplay that I won in. And I'm not going to say I had fun plan but like i do every season i'm gonna try to get level 200 content purposes i don't know i don't know if you're gonna see a lot of content on this season because it's a bit weird um to just play just nothing but vehicles it kind of takes me back to season nine season x you'd see those ballers around the map and then you get the mechs um I think I at least had more fun when the Max were in the game, to be honest. But it could be fun, maybe like maybe not solo wise, but you play duos and squads. Maybe it could be fun. Maybe you die every game, but it still could be fun. That type of deal. But this is uh, a bit interesting so far. Um, their vehicles have a lot of health. Uh, they're not easy to, you know, get damage off on. And 
I mean, yeah, it, it, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. And then you have those, uh, like like I was saying earlier, the epic and mythic like fist weapons. They are uh, a way, another way to get around the map. And this season is just full of mobility. If you don't like mobility, then um, this season is not not for you. I, I would say um, it's playable in a way, but you gotta you gotta play cautious. You gotta play smart, strategic. It's it's a it's a bit interesting. I mean, I've been playing to mainly get challenges done. I mean, if I feel like I'm getting any point of like you know in the season where it looks like I need to just not play it anymore, I won't. But we are in for some um, rude awakening this season. I would say um, I don't think anything is gonna get uh, any better. I would say. Um, as far as you know, content is concerned. Um, not not just content, but like trying to have fun playing the game casually is not going to be as fun as people might think. Um, from what I'm hearing, it's almost like 75, 25. I heard like a small amount of people saying they they enjoyed it, including content creators like Curse JD and Ninja. They say they enjoy it. Um, I think Nick Eight Thirty says he enjoyed it, and maybe maybe Cipher and maybe some of those group of content creators maybe they enjoy the game, but I don't know. Um, it's just one of those things where you gotta show off pretty much your skill and be smart with literally everything. And if you're not, you're not gonna enjoy the season. <clears throat> that I mean, it's a lot. Um. Let's talk about the battle pass real quick. I just wanted to, I wanted to talk about the gameplay at least for a little while, only because that is the main focal point in the season. Nobody's really talking about I don't think the battle pass like that or anything else concerning the game, except for just you know the gameplay stuff. Nobody's talking about anything outside of that, as far as what I know so far. I've been looking on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people just been talking about gameplay. But as far as Battle Pass, um, I'm really excited for the uh, the Bright Bomber skin. I might have to grind out to really get that, but I'm really excited about that skin. Um, it's probably like one of my one of my favorites in the past so far, and I get to have add another one to my collection, which is a really good thing. Um, favorite weapons? I mean, the, I mean, hold on. Before I even say that, the Battle Pass gets like maybe a 6.5 out of 10 for me because it really doesn't offer anything that I'm particularly interested in. Um, I think the one from last season where it got a 7.9, well, it is going to get a 7.9 out of 10 because it actually had like at least a few skins that I was willing to run. But this skin, I mean, this season is maybe maybe like two skins I want to run. That's literally about it. And... um. Before I end this, my favorite weapons, you're gonna see the umbrella on the screen, by the way. Um, my favorite weapons this season are the Enforcer AR, which I like I like that weapon. I like um, how it shoots and everything like that. It, it's, it's a nice weapon. I, I'm, I'm gonna miss the Nemesis AR because that's something that got removed, but um, it's a really good gun. The hand cannon is back and it also, I think it almost got buffed in a way. Um, for what I was looking at, um, I think it has increased damage now, and uh, the drop off is a little bit better, but uh, it's it's meh a little bit. But it's probably still one of my favorite weapons to use, especially um, when you're in like a medium range uh, combat battle or whatever. And then the last but not least, the uh, gatekeeper shotgun is still in the game, and it is one of the better shotguns. The combat shotgun is in the game as well. But I'm not particularly a fan of the combat. I love the I love the gatekeeper. Um, the hammer pump is still in as well. Um, and there's another AR that was in last season that got a little bit of a buff this season. Not as far as damage, but you know, drop off and all that other good stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Let me know down in the comments down below. Um, 
what do you guys think of this season? Chapter 5, Season 3. I enjoy it in a sense, but I'm not too sure what I think about it. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.